Operators allow you to compare variables and values. For instance, score equals 50. If score equals 100, then echo, you have a perfect score. Mm -hmm. Let's put these in here. Else, echo, you do not have a perfect score. So, there. When we run that, oh, here we go. You do not have a perfect score because we have 50. A common error is to not use double equals for comparison. Let's try that. Reload. It says you have a perfect score, although our score is 50. Why is that? The reason is if is evaluating the result of this statement. This statement is assign 100 to score. If it was done, it returns true. And so basically what you're saying there is if we can assign 100 to score, which isn't what you mean. So always remember to put two equals when you're comparing a value or a variable and a value, and only one equals when you are assigning a value to a variable. This is equals. You also have does not equal. Let's do an example of that. Not equal. So if score does not equal zero, then echo, you have a non-zero score. Okay. Else, echo, your score is zero. Okay, let's try that. You do not have a perfect score, that's right, because our score is 50, and you have a non-zero score. That's correct. Test, change it to zero. It's still a non-perfect score, and the score is zero. Perfect. Okay. Another issue is this. Sometimes in a program you get confused what type the variable is, if it's an integer or a string, etc. And if you try something like this, if score equals not applicable, which means there is no score or that person can have no score, for instance, and you try to compare it, oh, I made that mistake myself there, to a string, then it will have unexpected results. So let's say we're just trying to compare this. If the score equals an A and slash A, you have a non-applicable score. So, okay, else you have an applicable score. Okay. So our score is 50. It does not equal NA. What do you think it should say? It should say you have an applicable score. Let's see what it says. You have an applicable score. No problem, right? But what if our score is zero? You do not have a perfect score. Excuse me. Let's put these. BRs in there. So now our score is zero. You do not have a perfect score. Is correct. Your score is zero. Is correct. You have a non-applicable score. Zero equals NA. Why is that? The reason is score is an integer. And I can prove that to you. Echo get type score. Integer. Now, the problem is you're comparing an integer to a string. If you compare an integer to a string, the string evaluates as zero. Your score is zero, the string evaluates as zero, and it's true. To avoid that, use three equal signs. The third equal sign says compare them and compare their types as well. When we run this, you have an applicable score because zero does not equal 
n a because one is an integer and one is a string. You also have does not equal and compare types, which looks like that. So we also have ands and ors. For instance, if a score is less than or equal to zero, or score is greater than 100, then say that is an invalid score, for instance. Else, that is a valid score. That is an invalid score. Our score was zero. If we change it to 50, it'll be a valid score. So those are, that's or, and is similar if score is greater than zero and the ampersands score is less than or equal to 100, then your score is valid, else your score is not valid. Same kind of thing, but with and. Test it. What's our score? 50. This is a valid score. Your score is valid. Change it to 150. That is an invalid score. Your score is not valid. Super. Change it back to 50. One more thing I would like to show you is you can increase a score like this. Score plus plus. Show score. Echo score is score. So when you see that your score is 51, you can subtract it like this, score minus minus, then it should go up to 51, come right back to 50. You can also do this, score plus equals five, which means it's add five. So it'll go up one to 51, come back down to 50, and then go up to 55.